guys, it's Brooks Woodward here with this week's Nichols Lure Shop Drop, where we're going to be going over some really simple modifications to make to get the best out of your Nichols Lure's Reflex Buzz Bait. The Reflex Buzz Bait is a head knocker style buzz bait, which means it's got a built in clacker system that you can adjust on the fly. In order to use the system, all you're going to want to do is take a pair of pliers, and from that top shaft right there, you're just going to give it a little bit of a bend just like that. And that way, whenever you're using it, you want to make sure that that blade is going to come into contact with the lead head. It's going to make a really nice loud clack. Alternatively, if you want to be a little bit quieter, you can simply take your pair of pliers and tune it up a little bit. Really, you don't even need pliers for this one. Tune it up just a little bit so that it's not touching. And then you've got a nice classic buzz bait sound. Another really simple buzzbait modification that I like to make sometimes is to make this blade squeak. To do that, we're gonna have to do a little bit of extra work. Uh, to, to help me out, I've got a cordless Dremel with a sander tip and just a simple pair of pliers. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take the wire that the blade is on and simply bend out where we've crimped the wire down and straighten it. You don't wanna cut it. If you cut the wire, your blade's not going to be able to come into contact with the head because the wire's going to be too short. So just bend it out. Then we're going to take the blade off. We're going to take our Dremel with a sand tip on it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to kind of rough up this, the end of this blade that's going to touch the rivet. So we're just going to take this sander. We're going to just rough this thing up. Scratch it up. Do whatever you want to it. Then we're also gonna take the rivet, and you've gotta be a little bit careful with this. So what I like to do is hold it with pliers so that I don't sand my fingertips. So I'm gonna hold this with pliers. I'm gonna get my sander again, and we're gonna do the same thing to this rivet. We're just gonna mark it up some. Rough it up, get some good cracks in there. All right, now we're good to go. So now all we need to do is put the buzz bait back together. We're gonna take our blade, make sure the skinny tip goes towards the front, Make sure the blade spins, give it a good thump. You're gonna put that rivet on with the mushroom style. It's, got a, it's kind of a mushroom shape. Put the mushroom end towards the front so that the blade is touching that head. Then all you're gonna do with the reflex, you're gonna to wanna to find about where it was bent before and take your pliers, bend it right back down. And that's gonna give you on the water a really good squeal. So there you go. That's a couple different ways to change the sound and volume of the Nichols Lures Reflex Buzz Bait. Sometimes the fish want it loud and sometimes they want it a little bit stealthy. Give it a try on your body of water. Until next week, this has been the Nichols Lures Shop Drop. Thanks for tuning in.